What's going on guys, Son of Beast here, back at the Stanley Cup Playoffs for the Conference Semifinals. First up, we're about to take a look at Florida Panthers and Toronto Maple Leafs. So far, the Panthers have already gotten destroying the Leafs three in a row now. But the Toronto Maple Leafs have not given up yet. They still have a way to get right back in the game if they win against the Panthers from the other team. So, will it be a shout-out win for the Panthers, or will it be Toronto Maple Leafs not taking their shout-out loss over against the other team of the USA? Well, we'll see how this one happens, because this is going to come down to the wire. So it's time to send you down to Scotty at Bank Arena and let the games begin. Enjoy the show. Let's get going for Game 4. Good times for a troll here back at Scotia Bank Arena. It's game four of the MB, one of the bestest plays here in between USA and Canada. This might be the only time that we can go for. I'm thinking this one's going to be a rough one to go in between the battle. So it's a win or a go home as we start here in game four as we are underway. Here's a start up here as Miner has a third eye ability. Then it's Matthews with the uh, shock and awe moment. And the other one we have is Mitchell, is Mitchell Riley. He has it all in down here before, and for this part, the only plays to be exact same thing that has it all in down, indomitable and in between his zones. The attackers of this one for Aaron Barkov has it all even down there. Alexander Barkov is the all alone man. Then we have the other one that turns out to be the other one in the same side here below. It may be tough to be a scorer, but to keep your eyes here peeled because there might be one way that we can get right to another. And maybe that point, the little bit and the other teams may have it all down here before. Here's a pass, and Marchman takes a broken up one. Riley right to the board. Passing broken up here, and Marner couldn't try to hold on. Barkov into the other way. Putting it inside the zone, that saves off by Campbell. After the last game here, it was a loss in between the, the most record. Wow, it's uh, it was 11-4 to 4 on their run. Not to be sure what's going to happen, but do you have anything what's going to happen with the Denver team? I'm not sure because of what happened happens. I never heard, heard of it so far. These teams are definitely one way to get the attacker right on the board. Chris the shot, that goes up on Barkov. And to talk about that one here, the Bobrovsky and Campbell, those two are definitely in, in, a, in a tight range here in the battle between by the two. I'm not sure what's going to happen here if he has it all down here like he did here before. Neander into the wing of his own. Gets caught up by, uh, by the defenders. Now Brody Gates speaks back. Sliding inside, that goes off in traffic way ahead. Nylander sweeps it in, that's off on, and it's Camp holds on to the puck. Hole right over to Brody. Swings it over to Camp. Camp over to Hole. Fires one, saved by Barofsky, and it will hold the puck here with only 15.45 to go. The tough ones in between those two, it's a very tough one to try to like keep the eyes in the range of this momentum. The drive may be a very hard one, but not to say about that. It's very hard going right in between the attackers that attack. But I say that the Bushkin and the other teammates have it all encountered up. Simmons right passing over to Lebushkin. Shoots one, deflected away, and then able to hold on to himself as, Le as Lebrowski, Lebrowski with the save. Panthers are in the offensive zone. Campbell stops it with a pad. Spezza and Gev uh, didn't have the right timing to go with the pass long. The boarding is too tough because the defenders are trying to take the puck away. It's a tough one to go through. Two corner scores. That's the first goal in the game four. He has one. The energy of Anthony Duclair is, has all of it down here in the boarding range in between the two. Duclair has it all encountered out here after the last round here in the first one going back here. The win against the Capitals, a tough one in defenders. 
may be tough. And with all that does say, this team is the only time defender that will tell in between the two. Speeds it up across, the puck gets tipped away and stopped by Dorofsky. Marner swings it over to Labushkin, and oh, not so good here on the offense. Marner in control. Going inside, hat trick one, gets blocked up behind. Says no sorry. Lindell right up over to the bar, around the other angle. Brings off to Lundgren, and Campbell will have to train it back to Lundgren. Almost knocked the puck away too soon. Lundgren, two on one. Holds up to Kerfoot. Now over to Sandin. Sandin to Camp. The Leafs moves the puck around inside out. Shoots one, Bobrovsky with the save. And we'll get the clean whistle here as we step alongside. And with that one, Barkov, the all-alone man, has an in-between the ranging setups. He's also good here in the all-alone shots, here on the penalty shot. Just in between the two of his hands, so if, if he moves it up across it, he might be all right with the only changeup, but might be getting into his own timing, and might get into the uh, own, own timer. We'll see if Barkov gets an all-alone man here on a penalty shot if the penalty is being called. Now, guys, back to you. Camp races up across the offensive zone. Bad pass almost broken up. Riley holds on. Swings it off to Kerfoot. Verhege takes a steal. Now Camp has it covered. Back to Lugrin. Entering the attack. Try to face it and a bam goes out. Lugrin shoots. Saved by Borowski. Able to get a hold on here as we hold on for the whistle in the play. Almost right now must be a fire drill. Why have to watch out for that intense run in between those two? One and oh is still sat here along with me and Fan. We've got, still got some lots of time here before the mid-period expires here at the Bogo Pass Beyond Hour. Tavares rolls over the case. Now case is behind the net. Finds over to Beers. Backhand shot and glove save by Borowski. It's not going to be easy to like keep it keep it in the between the zones and the tax. They need something else there to try to keep it right around the range. They need someone to get right into the offended board. Now it will be tough one to keep in the range by heavy traffic. After Campo lifting out with the chest of the save, here comes Nylander. Nylander get broken up and Borowski with the save. He will hold the puck here as we pass the mid period. Still a lot of momentum going on in between the two. It's a tough battle in between the Canadian team and the USA team. Now the toss is up. Ekblad in cover. Rolling over to Duclair. And get a little big banger out there. Watch out below. Party up. Saved by again by the goaltender. This one walks off wide. It's not a really tough one. Like, that's the toughest score that they're looking for. They need something else to try to you know, move an hour player. I know that one. Tough one to be in here just like they did here. Hole moves it in the center, and that one turns to be offside on Toronto. The only shock in all moments here of Austin Matthews. This only man delivers him from the only set of scoring drafts. The teammate really has it all in Canada. When the team has it all in front, they need something else to go right in between the attackers. And for Austin Matthews, we'll see what he goes through. And, and if he has enough time, he can go right away. Guys, it's all yours. You take it back. Barkov in entering the attack. Over on Marchman. That goes up with the glove save. And that's Sandwin holding over on the right. Getting a little physical out there. Setting up this points blanker. Bunning right into the corner of the wall. Rolls back to Matthews. Holds up around the board. And he won't pick up that one. Ekblad. Get a little poke check here for Matthews. Wrapping up is Ekblad. Flags it over to Barkov. The Panthers.
Clippers are in control here on offensive zone. Rolling over, here it comes, the shoots out, scores! Mikhaev gets the goal, it's one, tied up. What a terrific puck on a screen, that was Marner. He delivered it out here just like he did. And with that screen, he had it all down here before. That's what you call that Mitchell Marner was to bring the puck on street. The only ability that does turn out is Marner putting a, a wrap around here with a string and trying to hold it tight. Because what happens to the other players, they get wound up. They may have a too much timing to get right into the zone. Now they have it all even countered out. And McKay getting goal is all he had. Guys, yeah, back to you. McCabe has, has got his first goal here in the postseason, and now it goes with a trailing of the even score. Kerfoot wants to forget about the offside to be caught on. Going inside, Tippett shoots, sets off the goaltender again. Tippett really was going to try to lever it on. In the attacking zone, he takes one, that gets in traffic. Swinging back over is Lundell. Florida's in motion here on the wing. And a little starting ramp up here as Tampa will hold on to the puck. Officials are being ready to be set here on the ice right now as the faceoff is coming up. And the puck is already up, taking its hands and ready to go. Here he comes! Shoots the backhand, tries again, but he wants to hold him back again. Special shot, tipped up wide. That was a Cubs clean shot because he was going to get there right about there. But it was too hard, and it's not going to be enough for him to try to take it on the attack. Close to call. Evangel whipped out too soon. Space out, didn't have any of our moment to get there in time. Here's a pass to Duclair. Block the shot, and Campbell holds it out. He's starting to get a little physical here. Duclair got a little inbound. Now flings over to the right. Wrapping around the board is over again. The Leafs gain momentum here in the offensive zone. Kuda takes the puck. Barkov in there. Campbell save. Case holds it the puck. Now swings it off over. Toronto inside the wing. Backhand pass to Bush Klebushkin. Brody up. Shoots one. Bluff save by Bodrovsky. He'll hold on to the puck with a minute and 24 to go. Those teams are in a higher position. And you can feel the heat. It's a tie game in game four. Now the Leafs wins it again. Klebushkin hands over to Matthews. Takes a shot, gloved it up with easy traffic control. That was very close one because that was a very hard one to try to take it in by. And most of all, that, uh, that Borowski got a good hand at it. He has to go down, even taking on his own time. Nearing the last minute in the first period as this one comes down the books. And oh, here comes Warner. Back in shot scores. They have the lead up by one. It's 2-1. Mitchell Marner, a tough one releasement here on the backhand shot. And with that one, it's turning out to be one terrific timing that he has it all down. So far, he's delivering here for this pressure. Got a goal and got the assist down. Now here's Verhege. The score is being lifted up here since the last minute in the first period. It was almost winding down, but it made the boss beater for Mitchell Marner. Now moves it over to Marner. Moves back to Bunting. That bad pass has been broken up and lifts it down the other way for in the uh, leaf zone. Marner up. Flings it over to Matthews. With the shot. Save. 
Oh, he just couldn't take it away. That ends the first period. Tough rebounding inbound. And for Marner, backhand shot scores. It's 2 1. We'll be right back with the second period after this. Officials are set to go as we're about to start the second period of the game four in Toronto. Puck is dropped and we are underway. Ready to go. Barkov at the start. Moving in there and we'll get a goal. He just left it off there. The puck was already loose there. Now he says, I got it all. It's a go-ahead goal and now they're tied up. The teams are already in battle. A little mistake here in the start of a second period. That would be a little bit worse off to make them clear. Barkov onto the wing. Watching over. This one saves it up again. Barkov saved by Campbell. Holds the puck here with 19.22 remaining. It's tough now, but it's totally clear that Barkov was going to deliver that one in the game. He has faced death here. He let go of the puck, and he went in there. So that's all he had. But he's not in a crescent, so if it's a no goal, then it might be too much to handle it. The puck fires across from the offensive zone, and that calls for icing on Toronto. We stay back here in this offensive zone as the puck was already cleared out the last time for 9-10 to go. This one bangs it up in right around here. Oh boy, the Panthers really don't like that one. Here's Morner. Shoots one, saved by Borowski. He's going all over it again because sometimes you don't you don't get enough uh, momentum out there. You're not quite going to get the right in timing. You're going to need something else to go by. Fires a shot. That goes off a camp out with a save. Moves over to Matthews. This one holds up in, and Riley couldn't hold on to the puck. It's not going to be easy enough. Brady up, Merchman inside. Save off again, almost going to knock down a goalie. Here's Toronto moving back in. And a little bang up already, Nylander right around, and we got a penalty, and the martyr is down. Oh no, that's not so good here. That time he was a top reliever, he went bang up already, and now all of a sudden, he's out. Yeah, they're bringing medical attention out there. So far, the Pampers are already knocking them down, and they need to stop them and try to make them attack. It looks like they want some revenge here to try to take down the Pamper on the other end and send the medical attention. They do. They really need to. Up to Bennett, saved by Campbell. Nylander right again. Case moving over to Tavares. Buck the pop. Duclair in the own entrance zone. Making a little bang out here. Moving over again is, is Forsling. Swings it over to Bennett. Fires off to Forslane. Shoots off the goaltender. Nylander has the puck. Right in the board. Tigers up in the netting. Shoots one. That is off again on Borowski. The two men were on him. They want to say attack, attack, attack. And because of the head coach was telling them they need to stop their run. Their pressure was putting too hard on responses. They need something else to try to keep the momentum out there. They need to try to slow them down. Backhand shot, well, a little too close to the crescent. Herbert right in the other way. Flings it up to Kerfoot. Kerfoot looking over to camp. That pass gets disconnected. Force lane, a little big off here. Bennett up in control. Two corner shot. Glove saved by Campbell. Campbell needs to get there right into his attention because there's a lot of bunch of defenders that might need something going on. And that's another save made by the goaltender. Camp in there long. And was going to be a little boat out here. Now Forsling has the puck. Verhage moving over in the neutral zone, back to the offensive zone. Kerfoot on the other end. Fighting inside the offensive zone. He flings it over to Lilgren. Lilgren finds Matthews, moves it quickly over to Riley, back over to Lilgren. Hammers it on net. That saves off again on the foot of the, of the pad on the shoulder. 
Riley back to Clifford. Bunting right in the side. He wants to change things up a bit and have to flex it up on a goaltender. Matthews right to the board. Gets bang out. Brady up in the pursuit. Clifford watching on Gudas. Now Gudas is inside. Trying to put a net. Save up again by Campbell. Campbell was really doing it so hard on that one. This driving can be only trick to trick feed. Please off the Tavares. Shoots one in there. Save up by Borowski. He's stopping it in time and out. They need to stop and slow things down again. Marchman right into the offensive zone. In the attack, going in Reggie, save off by Campbell. That's a great feed here, now a little hello, physical contact. Here's Tavares, shoots one, and it deflects it out over around the goalie. Headblad right to Marchman. It's banged up here time. This one's a banger out there, you're going to need something else to try to like go with it in the attacker, so this one may be a tough one to go reside. Weger takes the puck away. Case went offside. Still a lot of momentum out there. As it's still even up here for 2-2. Two two, 11 of 6 remaining. Now Florida wins. Spezza takes the puck. And inside his own. Disconnected and no transaction here with the luck. Lindell firing across from the board. Spezza gets the puck right into the offensive and tries things again. Hole right in through. Swinging into the offensive zone. He feeds it off to Brody. Takes the shot. That goes off the goaltender. Hole right to Spezza. Spezza working inside. Shoots one, scores! Spezza with his first goal in the playoffs. They now break the chain. What a good wrap around here. Jason Spezza really haven't gotten all the chance out there. And he made a great uh, play out there inside the middle to put it around to Chrissy. And for Barkowski, got a little wake up here. So that did give him a goal, and one time enough for you to get by. We're underneath the mid-period here in the second period, as the score is now 3-2. Brody outside, swings it back to hole. Moves in front, that's off the goaltender. Brody back to hole. Moves it back to Brody. Shoots one, that shot goes blocked. And about across the border with the port check, and here's Lundell right in passing the neutral zone. Up across Reinhardt. That gives him a good stop here as Campo will hold on to the puck. Aaron Ekblad was relieving himself and he looks like he was limping and he wasn't going to try to stop one right there. He's still looking okay, but it looks like he's still not done yet. If all happens, it might occur for him at once. Those two goalies are in between arranging matches and they had it all down here below. They might need someone to try to put them on the risk. A lot of hello moment. Here's Case. 2 on 1. Scores! Really gets a goal and it's now extending up to 4 2. Excellent feed. That one delivers up to Riley, and that one was a great shot in between the legs. And this one was a brokening up here to try to blind the goalie that he had it all. Morgan Riley was the only person that made the best one here to try to pick up their run. Without Marner and being lifted up here being injured, their team is definitely way on the duck out. This team may be the only one to beat me here to get back in the game. But we might find out if he gets there in time and help the team with encouragement to hit their board deck. I'm pretty sure that the team might be uh, helping us out here, so we'll see how it goes with that one here, Meepone. Anytime you can say, guys, it's all yours. Horn gets fires the puck across here from the offensive board. 
Now he'll swing it over right back to Knight Nylander. Nylander in the attack. And holding a boot out, bang out here. Just the one man right on the board with the little sledgehammer. Lashenin right into the 14. And a great puck check away by another player. Toronto in the offensive zone. Riley. And a bad pass communication there. Watching here, Markov. And that's off a goaltender. We're under six minutes to play in the second period. Vince still looking for a streak. This needs something else to try to work their way around here. They need something to go high and big square. Case, backhand shot, went with Twine. Munchman moves over again to Verhage. Now back to Barkov. Florida's in now on the offensive attack. Off to Marchman. Inside along Verhage, shot and saved by Campbell. Simmons got the puck, firing up the Spisa. And a lot of uh, hard breakdown on the feed. It will be too hard to make them make room here to get right on the board. Spisa right to Mihaev. Backhand shot, went with wide and saved by Bobrovsky. This one is not going to be a very good idea to make that one. This shot was very not hard and difficult. Sometimes it really does happen. Sometimes it doesn't really happen. Gouda takes the puck. Mikhaev's got the puck go across in the offensive zone. He fakes off to Brody. Up to Lebruskin. Lebruskin back to Brody. Hammers it through. Glove saved by Bobrovsky and will hold the puck here for a slow dings down. Always sure about that one because if you're not sure what's going on, freeze the puck right away. The teams are already back in the uh, neutral face-offing position here on offensive wing. Oh, we're only 3.29 to go. Duclair reaches up over to Rehagi, to Huberdu. Huberdu right into the middle. Double man covered on him, and Sandin will hold him out. Kerfoot right in the way. He still holds on. Sandin up in front. Getting a little bad out there and almost went down. They could have made a fight to claim. Shoots one for Kerfoot. Up again by the toe of Bobrovsky. He's really saving it. He's only the time that needs to go right by quick. And the odd man rush. Oh boy, too close to call. That went off the iron and as Forsling holds on to the puck, this off to Gudas, that's blocked up in traffic. Matthews sees it off to Kerfoot. Taking over by Matthews. And he's watching him slowing, getting him up. You can see right now, and it looks like we're going to have a whistle offside as the call. So far, it looks like Matthews was watching the man get up. He looks like he's not hurt at that point. It was too hard to make him try to work for it, and he needs something else to try to slow things down. Slowing down is the key. You, know, you don't want to make that a mistake here, and that might be the only timing that will tell in between the attackers and have it all in counted out to go with another timing. I say on, on Toronto, with a minute and three to go, almost down to 60 seconds left in a second period. These two are still in ranging more than attackers. This one now brings up 4-2. Toronto's game new face-off win. And here around the board, gets broken up. Lundell up in the side. Trying to go for the backhand. That's blocked up by Case. Off on the goaltender. Does it again. Great stop by Campbell. He's like the only one he wants to keep the pressure alive. What a run for play. Riley back in the offensive zone. Ten seconds left to go. And it's good quite some of traffic out there. Weger, boom, shot, now laga laga. <laughs> I don't know about that one. He maybe he'll have fun to go with a, a boom, lock it out. Lock down defenseman. And that should end the first and second period. Third period is coming up after this. Are you ready for the third period? You know I am. Me and Fan along with me Fan as we're happy to back you here at Scotia Bank Arena. It's time to finish the game four before we head over to the next game. Let's get started. 
Now Wiley will face things up for on the offensive side. Case up and through. Finds over Bunning. Oh, he just couldn't try to stop one. It's a save made by Barofsky. Barofsky was going to deliver it up in time, but that was a very hard at this play. It's too much for it, and it may be hard enough to try to like keep it going. It may be tough, and finding another one will be a rough and battle, brutal, painful look. Riley face off with the case. Case into the center of the attack. This one passes over to Marchman. Marchman working it over around. Club shot, club saved by Campbell. I will hold the puck here with just about a minute to play on ice time. They're still looking for some great momentum out there. 9.23 is the time on attack they have it all down. Now Toronto goes back to work on offense. Kerfoot watching it over. Flings over to Mikheyev. Mikheyev right into the board. Holds up to Lilgren. Riley up again. Holds over to Camp. And it's too many men here on ice here. That puts up a heavy traffic circle. It's not going to be that easy because that was a tough one to get right by him. Wow, the big stop was picking up pressure here. They could have declined that call. Still lots of time left to play. Maple Leafs have four and two over the Panthers. They wanted to get on the board. And here we have the puck drop. Now Kerfoot. Sweeping in the inside. He finds a man looking open. Mikhaev up in traffic. Camp can't save it back. Bennett will wish it out any other way. Here's Case, working inside, and it just couldn't try to stop and slow things down. He's too hard, too quick, make him slow down, you gotta like try to fix it up a little bit. Because there is a lot of man that wants to go right by him. Playing the ball around the offensive zone. Now things up to Mikhaev. The Leafs regain their group here on offensive swing. Finding it over to Tavares, and Duclair takes the steal. Duclair right in the wing, pass broken up. Now Case will try things again. Shoots one, that goes off of Borowski. And now it pushes back over to Lundell. Lundell was gonna try to like watch that attacker. It's a great save. To keep your eyes on that one, it's a tough one. Make it inbounding, like they did here before. Battling the puck here, Broden, over to Nylander. Moves over to Hole. Up back over again. Case right into the corner of the wing. Spears uh, didn't save it that time. The Panthers regain their group in offense. Tip it around him. That was swept away over the goalie net. Nylander in the racing towards speed. Nylander right to sand it. And Nylander holds on. Brings it over to Sandman. And he gets knocked down with a physical attacker moment. This really does stand it out. Not going to be too much to get for him. Bobrovsky holds on with the save and he will dish it back over to Florida again. Long deep pass into Haiti. The Panthers regain group here on offense. Moves over and speeds out with a broken up pass. Samans up to Spisa. Choose one. Saved by Bobrovsky. Things will start to ramp up a little bit as they'll have uh, some more time to get on by. But the players are for you. Well, I wouldn't complain. Austin Matthews have an old shock and awe moment here. The team is looking for a way to get right by around him and wants them to help him out with their team encouragement that wants to get right from here. The teams are definitely get strong, but paceful enough is make some waste out there. They have something else to go clear in mind if they want them to keep an eye on, the, on the, um, the position that they want to get near through. Hopefully Austin Matthews will try to take the shock and off if he can get there right at the momentarily. Back to you guys. Riley just swings off to Case. And bad up here, tipped away with the poke check. Now, Bochek the other way, up on Case. 
Picking up speed, here's Bunning. Racing inside, backhand will never count again. Oh man, that was a tough one. It's too much of it. It was too hard, but nothing is gonna stop you in that one. And for that time, it was, it's too hard to give that one a good roughy credit. Marchman reaches over to Barkov. Pampers inside, club saved by Campbell. Riley backing over to puck around the net. And it will never gonna pick it up here. Matthews in the streaking, 2 on one Kerfoot! Oh, he just didn't stop there in time with the goal. Matthews got caught up there, and there was something going on. He says, no man looking open. It's too hard. It definitely is, because that one will be a tough one to go in bounds. Saved by Campbell. Hold the puck in through, and we're almost at mid-period range. Stick around later as we have the Canadian matchup as OJ will be on the uh, center ice. Along with the ever two, it will be Mifo. And across here, we'll never want to do it again. We'll be another one to try to pick things up here to show it how it's done. And for that one, I will be heading over to the west side here as, um, as Mifo will be standing by. It will be another one to keep an eye on here on a win and run, just like we had in All-Star 2022. It's definitely true. Campbell will hold on to the puck here with only 921 remaining past the mid period. Officials are getting set here in the opening face off here into the offender wing. Now to Florida wins it. Blocked it up by Engvall. Hampers regain their group. Engblad back over to Herberdu. That one switches up to Spisa. Rolls over the hole. Deep pass won't connect. And Simmons beats it over with an icing. Oh, went down too soon. It's not going to be easy enough. It very does happen to me in one of the timing that they need someone else to go right by. They need, they got to get the open man. They need to get there in timing. Don't go too far or else it will be up and denying with a shot on their attacking zones. Oh God, I would have broken up with a, with a poke check. Eckblad takes it away. Now regroups here for Florida's own. Flings the puck around the board. And they won't pick up that one. Nylander swings it over to Simmons. Simmons got knocked down from the wall. A low moment. Up across the board, Tavares wants to block things up again. And we got a penalty coming up. That will be the interference on Florida. Weger was going too hard. It was too much to make them pay for. The stoppage of this one, it's too hard to get from here. Now for that one, they're losing a man advantage. And now the man advantage will be here for the first time for the Maple Leafs in game four, here for the power play. As Florida wins it, he will hold on to the puck and will fling it over right in the other way. Now here's Riley. Flings over to Bunning. In the breakaway, Bunning couldn't try to hold on. Matthews up the case. He finds over to Riley. Swings it over. And that's a bad pass here as the power play still continues to wind down. Rolls over to Bunning. Up inside the new face off attacking. Bunning. Hits it over to Spezza. Backhand shot won't count. You need more to get right into the upper hand backhand. Yeah, a little bit higher. Needs to go with that one. In between the two, we have Mifo standing by. Austin Matthews have it all in take to take at this feet, but this was a shock and all moment that has it all in counted out. The only team that definitely needs it all was the awe moment and try to help them with a reaction. Herbidu has his own tape to tape ability to make him pay for, and with a only one man advantage, he had it all down and might have their own timing to get there in place. Score! Lee Lander gets a goal, it's now a power play goal for the Leafs. A terrific feed for William Nylander. Takes his time, 
rolls around, and he puts it in there. What a goal for the Maple Leafs. The Leafs has extended 5-2 after the power play takedown by Weger putting up the penalty. And what a play this turned out to be for Maple Leafs for tonight in Game 4. I know, definitely talk about that one. Herberdu out of all the counter down, and he may have some another huge advantage out there. And with that goal for William Nylander, he made it all with a difficult range here in a moment to try to take him down like he did. We'll see what Nylander can do here for the next one in Game 5, but there might be a little more time that we can give it a change up here just along the edge. Guys, back to you. Shoots one! That blocks it up by Herberdu. Now brings it back over to Duclair. Under four minutes left to play in the third period, the Leafs 5-2. Gets broken up by Marchman. Marchman right up in the gut. And it's Case with uh, with a takeaway. Over up again to Bunny. Flings it over to Riley. Up again to Lilgrain. And the odd man rush for Benny. Here we go. Oh, how did he get a piece of that one? He just stopped there, and Campbell has it all down in coverage. Wow, what a stop, mate. I knew that was going to ever happen for Campbell. What a play here. Beats the icing down, as this one will change it up here. Mikhailov is on the wing down there. He flings it back to Kerfoot. Kerfoot moves it over back to Mikhailov. Change up over again, and Barkov in ready for the attacking. He gets blocked up in front. McKay to Kerfoot. And now back in the offensive zone. They got numbers here. Ekblad up to the ball. Barkov right to Verhege. Flings it up to Marchman. Marchman up to Verhege shot. It's saved again by Campbell. Nearing the final minutes here in the third period, the Leafs are going to go on the board and ready for their changeup to be here in time. Exactly, because the Leafs always got a great pressure here, and they may have it all down like they did here before. And the bad pass lifts it up. Verhege takes it over to Lundell. Nearing after the switch off, here's Marchman. This one carries up the hole. Engvall right over again to Spiza. Flings it over to the wall. No pick up that one. Tiffin watching the man. Reinhardt save off on Campbell. Lundell shot and deflected wide. It was too hard to make the risk out of it. It may be a tough one to try to go with the bounding attack. And saved by Campbell. This one holds the puck to get a clear whistle. We need for Toronto, and that will do it. The Leafs wins game four, and now they're on the board. Five to two is your final score. What an excellent job here for the Leafs. They did a great job for Campbell, as he always makes a great save, and he did a great job to try to slow them down. With the celebration, we all salute to the fans here, and for everyone, they have it all down here. What a tremendous game here for the Leafs and the Panthers. This next game will be happening back here at uh, Florida. We'll see how well they do after game four concludes with the game. So with that one, it's time to present your three star players of the game, a tremendous runoff, and Nylander with a power play goal. He did all always a tremendous stop here. He has it all down here, and they did a great job. Now let's check out your three star players of the game. Ben, you take it up from here. Thank you very much. Number three, we have the number one that we got the call for is Jason Spiza. One and one with the goal and a hit. He did really well. Fantastic job on um, with this best performance run of the shot. Number two we have is Mitchell Burner. We know he's out, but he, it's a great feat with a puck and a string, but he all in down in front. And a backhand shot, he had it all even down on the board. 
and for number one, we have is Jack Campbell. 40 saves, 0.952% of his saving ability, did a great job. Well done for the Maple Leafs. So that will do here for the first game. I will be here for the double header. I will have Jay Sabolski and Greg Ferraro ready for the next one as we will have the Avalanche and Wilds next here. I will be here for the Canadian matchup for the Flames and Oilers after this game is over. And then the last game will be the Rangers and the Hurricanes battling at the Madison Square Garden. So thank you all for watching. Until next time, peace out everyone for a while as the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs of the conference semifinals dial. Thank you for watching, and for me, fan, and me phone are gone. This has been a presentation of the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs. Tune in next time after this game of the Avalanche and the Wilds. Take care, folks, and good night.